Sasha just couldn't get enough of sport or activities. Whatever Sasha did, Kadeen just followed on. I saw a lot of talent. But netball was the sport we loved best. Like many kids, we started off playing in the park. And now we play for our country. We're Sasha and Kadeen Corbin, the only sisters in the England netball squad. And we want to thank our mum and dad, and we couldn't have done it without them. <laughs> What did you think that was? Sasha and Kadeen grew up in a, in a world of sports. Um, Violet was coaching many sports at, at that time. I was playing club cricket. My first real experience of sport was with my mum uh, doing gymnastics about six years old. And my mum would be there with her hands and she'd literally flip us over until we got it. I'm three years younger than Sasha, but I was pretty much of a daredevil. So I always wanted to learn new moves. If I perfected it, there was a treat. And that's what I wanted. When I was younger, I was so inspired by the Olympics. Watching people perform, winning medals, being passionate about what they did. I really wanted to be there one day, but I knew that gymnastics wasn't going to be the way for me. I used to watch my mum play netball in the park a lot. Obviously really loved watching her, um, and then I got a chance to do it. I went to Sasha's netball training session and I saw a ball on the side and I just thought, let me have a go. Once that ball went into that net, I thought, yes, this is the sport. It was so hard to start off with. It was under-16s and we just lost every game in that season. But then I remember mum saying, you got this, you go again. The following year, we won the whole league and that was just the best. <laughs> I tried for England under-19s and I got through. And second year at uni, I made the England senior team. I got invited to try out for England under-17s. Unfortunately, that year it didn't happen for me. And then the following year, it was congratulations. So I was so pleased. As the girls got more successful within the England setup, um, there was a point where life just became very, very crazy. Somebody had to be in Sheffield, somebody had to be in Bath. And how do you get them there? Are you watching, Kadeem? My dad, he's dad, just a motivator. Dad always said, stay strong through any negative and just make it into a positive. One of the worst times was Commonwealth Games 2014 in Glasgow. We had 30 seconds to go. We were drawing. I then threw away the ball. That was devastating. It was really hard for me to see that happen. It was tough and it was just about sticking together. We win together, we lose together, we learn together. One of my lows, I took a ball and I landed and my knee went left to right and I basically smashed everything in there. Kadeen came down and held me when I was in absolute agony. I just held her head and I was like, it's okay, it's okay. It was beautiful actually, I really <laughs> needed that. <laughs> Every adversity, I always say, you know, look, you can, you can beat this. Um, don't worry about anything, it's small steps. Um, you will come out better, you will come out stronger. Well, this was a moment, the Gold Coast 2018 right. Commonwealth Games. Helen Halsby to take the gold medal! Finally, 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 England got a gold medal that everyone's starting to recognise the team, everyone's talking about netball. It's just fantastic. This summer in July, we've got World Cup, which is going to be amazing. It's on home turf in Liverpool. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. going to be gunning for us. This is our time. My parents have been absolute rocks. That dedication and that motivation to keep us going has been amazing. They have blossomed. I'm an absolute proud mum. It's a pride and joy to see the way that Sasha and Kadeen um, the way that they support each other. Yes, they're just like normal sisters, yeah, they have their little arguments and stuff, but it's mainly love. It's beautiful.